Matrich alleges that the trial chamber erred in fact and in law in determining the gravity of the offense as well as the aggravating and mitigating factors. These errors, he claims, invalidate the trial judgment and occasion a miscarriage of justice. The appeal chamber disagrees with Marty's claims that the trial chamber examined the gravity of offenses that he did not commit. Since he does not put forward any argument to substantiate his claim, this subground of appeal is dismissed. The appeal chamber also dismisses the challenges by Martich as to how the trial chamber interpreted and applied the aggravating and mitigating factors in the circumstances of this case. <clears throat> Concerning the impact of the appeal chamber findings on sentencing, the appeal chamber notes that it has allowed a number of Martich subgrounds of appeal under his fifth ground of appeal, as well as the prosecutor's sole ground of appeal. In light of this, the appeal chamber has given consideration to whether an adjustment in Martich's sentence is appropriate. The new convictions under Article 5 of the statute serve to capture the full culpability of the accused. However, the appeal chamber finds that this conviction relate to underlying conduct already taken into account by the trial chamber when entering convictions under Article 3. Given that the material acts underlying the convictions are the same, they do not warrant an increase in sentence. In relation to the convictions reversed on appeal, the appeal chamber considered that this reversal have minimal impact on Marx's overall culpability in light of the remaining crimes for which he was convicted and the impact they had on the victims. In view of the foregoing, the appeal chamber affirms the sentence imposed by the trial chamber. I will now read out the disposition of the appeal judgment. Mr. Martic, will you please rise? This is the disposition. Pursuant to Article 25 of the Statute and Rules 117 and 118 of the Rules. Noting the respective written submissions of the parties and the arguments they presented at the appeal hearing on 25 and 26 June 2008, sitting in open session, allows Mila March's fifth ground of appeal in relation to the crimes committed in Bankovac counts 7, 8, and 9 in part. Cervliani counts 1, 12, and 13 in part. Vukovici counts 1, 3, 4, and 12 in part. And Polyanak counts 1, 3, 4, and 12 in part, as well as in relation to count 10 in part. This misses all other grounds of appeal submitted by Milan Martic. Allows the prosecution's alternative ground of appeal. Affirms Milan Martic's sentence of 35 years of imprisonment, subject to credit being given under Rule 101C of the rules for the period already spent in detention. Orders in accordance with Rule 103C and Rule 107 of the rules that Milan Martic is to remain in the custody of the tribunal pending the finalization of arrangements for his transfer to the state where his sentence will be served. Judge Schomburg appends a separate opinion. You may now sit down. May I ask the registrar to deliver a copy of the judgment to the parties.
Thank you. The appeal chamber will now rise. All rise for your vote of aye.